my soul magnifies the Lord. Hi, Tim here for our daily Advent Door. Have you ever owned a really good magnifying glass? If you have, I bet you used it for one of two things. Either you would have had a close look at a tiny insect to see just how terrifying and ferocious it looks when it's blown up in size, or you might have used it to focus the rays of the sun onto some dried grass or straw to try and light a fire. Is that the sort of magnifying that Mary is doing at the start of her song? Not really, to be fair. When Mary uses the word magnify, she is sending out the signal that her heart is overflowing with thankfulness. She wants to exalt God, to glorify, to bless him, to magnify him. She is saying that he is the biggest and the best. Her song reminds us of some of the Psalms from the Old Testament that do the same. In Psalm 34 verse 3 we read, O oh, magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. Mary has just been told that her son will be called Jesus, the one who will rescue his people. That is a name that is worth celebrating. The beginning of Mary's song also reminds us of Psalm 103. Bless or magnify the Lord, O my soul. Why? Because of all the benefits that he freely gives to us. He forgives our sins. He heals our diseases. He redeems our life from the pit. He crowns us with love and compassion. He satisfies our desires with good things. He renews our youth like the eagles. Listening to Gabriel's announcement about Jesus, Mary sensed that these words would take on an even greater meaning and vitality through her son to be Jesus. When we say soul, my soul magnifies the Lord, the Hebrews used a special word, nefesh, which means both your physical neck and your life breath. Mary's whole being is taken up with the Lord and the promise of Jesus coming into the world. So perhaps we're not so far off with the idea of a magnifying glass after all. Mary's words encourage us to capture the greatness of God in our soul so that he can set us on fire with the thought of his great rescue. It may be that COVID seems so big to you right now that it's blocking out everything else. So let's learn from Mary and allow our souls, the very depths of our being, to ignite with thanksgiving that Jesus has come into the world to rescue and redeem us. Let me pray that for us now. Father God, thank you that we can share in Mary's joy and thankfulness today. Help us in these difficult times not to focus on things that sap our energy and make us fearful about tomorrow. Instead, by the power of your spirit, help us to magnify your name together. Set our hearts on fire today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.